In this tutorial we are going to learn how to use this zoom extents tool and a few extra features. Uh, the zoom extents tool belongs to the camera toolbar and if it's not turned on again you can find that under view toolbars and camera. So situations that might arise why you would need to use zoom extents is your views off to the side like this for example and you want it to be back in the middle of the screen, nice and big. So you click on Zoom Extents and it recalculates your view. Let's say we had the model here and we had a copy of it over to the left. So if we get the Move tool um, and we to pre press Control, click and make a copy. When we use the Zoom Extents tool, it recalculates both models. Um, because there's a gap between it and Zoom Extents recalculates everything that's in the scene. So um, that might not necessarily be what you want to do. You might want to actually just recalculate uh, or Zoom Extents just one of the models. And the way that you can do this is by creating a quick key for um, hiding similar components um, or groups. So if we were to go to Window, Preferences, and then go to shortcuts. In the filter here we could type in hide um, then space similar and you can notice here that we've got Alt H assigned to it so type in the field here you have to hold Alt then press H and then you can add that in. Otherwise the other one that we could use as well so this this hide similar components was for components. Um, if we type in hide rest of model we can type in H for that and that H is used for groups so whenever you've got more than one group um, you use the H key if you've got more than one component you use Alt H okay so let's say we right click on one of the components go to edit component and then just change our view for example and then do a zoom extents so click on the zoom extents tool but it's still calculating both models. So if we were to use our quick key now, um, Alt H, it's now hidden the similar component. Then when we use Zoom Extents, you can see it's now recalculated the model. So let's try the H key one. So if I hit a, a box here, and I get the Select tool, and triple click on the box, right click on it, and make it a group, then if we get the move tool, press control, click and make a copy to the right, we've now got two groups. So if I want to zoom extents, uh, again it's trying to calculate um, what's in the background including the other little cube, so we need to go Alt H, so we just need to go normal H and it will hide everything that's not in the group and then use Zoom Extents and it will recalculate just that model. Press H again, Zoom Extents, calculates everything. Press H one more time, Zoom Extents, quickly gets you to the group that you're using. So another great reason to use groups. Um, if we were to look at the uh, the museum, right click Edit Component, um, you can see H is still turned on so I can turn off H and do Zoom Extents. Um, I could go Alt H and it will hide the the other um, similar component Zoom Extents but you can see that the um, the objects are still there because they're groups and you have to use the H key for groups so press H on and off and you'll get those back so Alt H to bring back the other uh, the other object over here Alt H and then H and both used together so H and Alt H and um, if you want to learn more about um, creating shortcut keys and how you can import and export shortcut keys, uh, just refer to the uh, SketchUp setup tips and creating custom keyboard quick keys.